The business we are proposing is that of a jarred chili jam producer, Oz Chili Jam. Moreover, the company will strive to prepare, package and sell jars of chili jam to consumers both in the culinary industry and within the home. The chili jam will be made in-house and packaged in jars of 200 grams and 300 grams. Our product is designed to be readily available and easy distributable. Therefore, our company is striving to provide the product to the majority of Australia via the extensive logistic network set up within the country. Our customers will range from the average household cook to a professional chef. This is achieved through the value and quality of the product servicing a range of consumers. Our versatility ensures that the product will be able to be enjoyed primarily in the home but is also available for commercial use. Our business primarily pivots on ingredient availability and logistical efficiency and as such it makes the most sense to operate out of a significant urban area. Ost Chile is based in Bundaberg, Queensland and we therefore will be based in Brisbane to ensure proximity to both supply and distribution. This way, not only will we have access to an extensive local consumer base of over 2.5 million people, but we'll also be able to offer our product to the rest of the nation. As previously stated, the idea of this brand is built upon a strong distribution network to serve as large a consumer base as possible. Therefore, the Chili Jam product will be primarily available online via our e-commerce presence. Local producers of Chili Jam often frequent various markets and supply smaller deli-style shop fronts. Our objective is to service the wider consumer base and compete with mainstay brands like AM, Hardings and the Gourmet Pantry. Few Chili Jam suppliers have a strong online presence and typically aim to work alongside supermarkets like Woolworths and Coles. Major suppliers like IAM can provide cheap products due to international sourcing and widespread availability through partnership with supermarkets. Smaller boutique providers offer locally produced goods in similar ways to our business model. The Gourmet Pantry in particular is the largest competitor within this niche product supply. Like many products available in supermarkets, the majority of the market share is split between few providers. As previously stated, brands like IAM can provide cheap goods as a result of their production practices. Market estimates indicate that this industry is fairly concentrated with the top four firms owning up to 80% of the total market share. The product is somewhat homogenous between competitors and there is no single firm dominating the industry, so it is in no way a monopoly. The main competition exists within supermarket chains and it is not our intention for the time being to operate in such a way. As a result, our product and service will be considered boutique and homegrown and amongst this competition, the industry exists as monopolistic competition. The primary barriers to entry revolve around the strict legislation of food products commercially available in Australia. Different regulatory bodies exist in each state, so it is important to adhere to the rules in each region. Due to our product requiring locally sourced ingredients and initial small economies of scale, the business may encounter some high fixed costs. Occasionally collusion is observed amongst boutique brands competing with supermarket giants. Particularly when ingredient sources are shared, as are distribution methods and other business practices, similar pricing strategies are adopted. What also may be observed is integration amongst competing businesses that operate almost entirely similarly, or via the purchase of smaller companies by bigger suppliers. This company intends to provide consumers with a quality product prepared from local ingredients at a competitive price. We will be making and distributing the jam ourselves and, as a result, will require multiple factors of production. The land will be required for preparation and production, our headquarters, as will human and physical capital for the production and packaging process. We, the founders, provide the fourth factor of production through our entrepreneurship as we strive to be competitive and profitable. Of these factors specifically, our land is fixed. Initially, our physical capital will also be fixed, but in the short run, our human capital will be variable as we gauge our profitability and develop alongside the product and business. The amount of input will also be variable as our output either grows or diminishes alongside demand. 
Our business will operate in an industry we consider to be a monopolistic competition. Several large firms may suggest an oligopoly, but we deem the smaller boutique operators that offer locally sourced products as our main competition. As both a product producer and supplier, our definition of Q will be defined as the numerical number of jars of chili jam sold in the market each year. Defining our optimal output level is difficult without crucial data obtained from being a market operator for some time. In the initial stage, before operation begins, the method of choice would be to calculate the difference between total revenue and total costs. Once operation has begun and data can be obtained, it would be more appropriate to calculate the difference between marginal revenue and marginal costs and consequently explore economies of scale. Conducting market and production research will enable us to obtain a more accurate estimation as to what costs and revenues will amount to. Issues do arise, however, when utilising values from already established companies with that of a fledgling startup and expecting uniform results. Like our projected revenue, it is difficult to base our costs on established businesses. We can, however, obtain quotes for our required capital and real estate and obtain pricing for production inputs. It should therefore be possible to estimate our fixed costs. However, the issues we may encounter will stem from the estimation of variable costs and subsequently affect total cost estimates. We at Oz Chili Jam are excited to bring you our deliciously new product. Our team is dedicated to working hard to upset this industry and provide consumers with a locally sourced and ethically produced product for amazing value for money. As a company in its infancy, we welcome your feedback and encourage both questions and criticisms. We look forward to stocking your pantry shelves soon. Thank you.